Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share how I made these jelly prints that I've used for these backgrounds of these cards. And I've used my brand new stamps to create the prints and of course also to create the cards. I'm working with two plates and I am picking out some of the new stamps. I'm not sure which ones I am going to use today. I just pick a small selection and then I will pick them on the go. The new stamps are um, very mixed media. I would say you can use them perfectly for mark making and for creating backgrounds and they are awesome for jelly printing. The new stamps will be available for pre-order soon in my shop. I try to upload them um, either tomorrow or on Monday and I will start shipping on January 11th. And one thing I have to mention for all of you that are living in the US and want to order from me, unfortunately I stopped shipping to the US. Um, the German Postal Service offers shipping overseas um, through the pandemic, but that doesn't work for me anymore. It has so many issues and it has such a very, very, very long shipping time that I get a lot of complaints about where the stamps are and also a lot of questions and I can't do anything. Even with tracking, you get, don't get any information. You just see that it's on the way, but you don't see where the uh, products are. And that's the reason why I stopped it. I can't take that risk. It's a lot of work for me. And finally, it's a lot of money when I send everything twice. I hope that they will change the way of shipping when the pandemic is over and when the planes start flying in a normal schedule and then I think shipping shouldn't be any problem. But for now let's start with the jelly printing. You see I have already mounted my stamps. I just use a glue stick and adhere them to an acrylic block. And here I'm picking some colors that I recently liked a lot. Um, it's a turquoise from Amsterdam. It's a white acrylic and this is kind of a burnt sienna. The brand is not that important. I just pick the ones I have. And here I'm choosing a fuchsia color. And finally I pick a red one. During the process I will change my color combination. Um, but let's start with this ones. Um, as you see, I'm using two jelly plates. I use the square jelly plate. I believe it's a five by five jelly plate and a small one that, no, it's a six by six and the small one must be a three by five, I believe. And I'm using just the small one as a little, um, assistant I would say. I don't do many prints with it and also the prints on the small plate um, often turn out not the way I, I like my prints to be um, but it's a little helper and you will immediately see what I mean. I like to use white with all the paints because I love white space and I love um, bright and light colors. I clean my brayer in between on a sheet of paper and later I will just print the back side of this paper. The paper that I'm using is a printer paper with a 120 GSM. I like that weight because it's not too thick for collaging and it's thick enough to um, use it for card making. And here you see I'm pushing the stamp into the wet paint on the jelly plate and then I totally randomly um, stamp the image to my assistant plate or into an area on my working plate. 
You also can use the stamp and stamp onto your leftover paper on the right side. It's always an adventure which results you get, but believe me, most of the time they look really good. Um, when you do jelly printing, you have to make sure to avoid creating mud, so it's always good not to mix complementary colors directly on the plate and also not to layer them. And I didn't push very hard when I did that print, so that kept me this texture that is still on the plate and this is great for the next print we are doing. When I have something left over on the plate, I pick complementary colors or um, not, not, not only complementary colors, but I pick um, different colors in those areas so I get a higher contrast later, but you will see it soon. Before I cover the whole plate, I will add some more mock making with a stamp and here I've used the um, assistant plate as kind of a stamp pad. I've added acrylic paint to it and I just pick that paint up with the stamp and I transfer it to my working plate. Always make sure to store your stamps on a wet paper towel. I have two baby wipes stacked up on another and I have spritzed them with even more water and there I put the stamps in when I not work with them. Here I change the color. I don't put the red color or the pinkish color um, behind the red or on top of the red. I put the brown on top of the red and the pink color more on the top where the blue circles are. I often clean my brayer in between because I don't want to mix everything together and I also don't want to have a very thick layer of acrylic paint. You want to have a thin layer to get good prints. And that's what I do with the working plate. I just um, play with it and that often turns out muddy or grungy and I love bright and happy prints so this is often some something um, I don't really like. If I want to pull up everything that was back on the plate, I make sure to press the paper down very good and here you can see that I have transferred everything that was on the plate to this print. And that's the more chunkier print. I think a lot of people would like that print, but it's not my favorite. But you never know when you need such kind of a color. Sometimes you need something dark to contrast against something colorful. I always start with the lightest color when I brayer the paint on the jelly plate um, because I figured out or I learned that this works best for me. When I started printing with the jelly plate I started by just um, brayering all the paint on my plate all over the whole plate and this often gave me muddy colors and also not very interesting so I always try to keep um, colors separated from each other. Here I'm using also one of the circle texture stamps and I just play randomly on the plate with it. I have no real system. It is really interesting when you stamp into 
the pink color and directly afterwards into the blue so you get something of the pink transferred into the blue area for example it's always good to um, clean uh, the stamp in between on the other jelly plate or on your leftover paper For the small plate, I'm just using the same paper I've used before. Here I'm pulling the print from the small plate so that I get rid of that extra texture that was on it and I really like that result. This time I used that rainbow stamp. I really love this on jelly prints and here you can see I'm stamping it also to my cleaning paper and this can also give a really um, nice background. And for this print, I'm using one of the papers where I've cleaned my brayer, so I have kind of a double-sided paper that could be useful when you create optional pages with the prints, for example. I really like that result.
I will give you a flip through through all the prints I've made today at the end of this video, of course. And I really like that leftover paper that I've made with rainbows. This time I want to try it without the white in between. That's also very interesting, but I think you have to take care that you don't mix those two colors too much into each other. It depends on the colors. If they give a nice uh, mixture, um, it will work great. But I believe this blue with that red gives more of a grayish purple and that's not my favorite color. As I like those rainbows stamped on the paper the last time I just repeat that. And I really like remaining texture on the jelly plate. You just don't have to press um, too hard on each area of the plate and then you will have some of the texture left for a second print.
When I'm doing the print to pull up a texture from the plate, then I try to um, press really hard and I often use the brayer so that I get everything on my print. Over time, the edges of the jelly plate become really dirty and then I use just a glue tape to clean the edges because when you have too many layers on the edge you will not get that um, onto your print because it's a, a too thick layer of paint. Now I decided to change the color palette. I want to try something else and here I'm using a light pink and a warm yellow and I mix it with a red. And for this print I decided to pick that wavy border. Of course I could have also mounted the stem to an acrylic block. That looks also nice I think. And here I also change where I put the light pink. I put it to the bottom and I will use a darker color at the top so that I get a higher contrast. I want to have also a higher contrast in the values so I'm picking a much darker color. And again, I go in between with the white. If you'd like to see some more jelly plate printing videos, I have already uploaded some to my Instagram Reels. And I will keep on loading up quick little printing sessions over there. So check out the video description, there you will find the link to my Instagram channel. I really love that um, light pink together with the green. The green is the hooker screen from Schminke. It's from their Academy um, line. I really love their colors and also the quality of it. This time I'm picking that circle stamp. I really love that texture stamp. It's awesome for um, so many different uh, things for jelly plate printing and for creating accents on an arch on a page or to create just some background stamping.
really like that result but what you can do when you have an area where is less texture you can just keep that one and add the texture with a stamp in the next round I decided to pick the red color for the stamping because there was already some red on the background and I think that works really good with the pink. And I think this is also a really nice result. And I really like the contrast I got because of the white in between the colors. And now I will give you a flip through all the prints I've made. And I start with the assistant plate print. And that's not the best, I think. But I really love the results of the others. Some have um, a backside because I used the paper already to clean my brayer or the stamps. And that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was pretty long this time, but I hope you liked it anyway. And I hope also you have a Merry Christmas and I wish you a wonderful rest of the weekend. And we will see you soon. Bye.